And welcome back to Paul TV and Paul some more. Today we're going to look at some beers from Mikella. This is a brewery uh, from Denmark. I think originally started uh, in Copenhagen in 2006. A couple of guys that uh, started off really at home brewing was where their sort of oranges uh, lay. <laughs> What oranges? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that in. <laughs> Let's try Origins Lay. Um, so there's some sort of experimental sort of beers, I think, in the history, and probably still going forwards. There's lots of different varieties and so forth. Um, you don't have to go to Denmark to pick these up. Where did you get them from? Any guy called Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers, okay. yeah. Yeah. Pick these up for two pound fifty each. I've got okay. four of them. So we'll be trying the pills first. This is a uh, 330 milliliter cans, and the pills is a 4.6%. And you see, really cool designs of the cans and some strange names. The pills is called "I Don't Have a Red Shrimp." <laughs> Obviously, easy one to remember. Yeah. There we go. Um, well, you better uh, crack on and yeah, stuck in. Pour it out. You can so, to this one. I'm guessing it pills now. It's going to be a bit lagerish. Yeah, uh, but I hope it's got something about it. I'm not usually a big sort of lager fan, so uh, we'll uh, give it a try. Thought it was all going in your glass for a minute there. Did you forget how uh, size, <laughs> the size no, yeah. of the tin? It's a smaller tin than we're used to. Yeah. Make sure you get the big one. Yeah, thanks. So you can complain in. So you can show the camera and the beer this time. I did it last time. Yeah. Quite a orangey golden. Yeah, it's, it's quite darker than you would expect for a pills. It is. I so quite like that thing. Maybe that's promising. Yeah. Yeah, you better give it a taste. You smell it. Yeah. Quite good sort of carbonation. Um, it's sort of got carbonation more of a of an ale, I'd say almost, as opposed yeah. to a lager. Yeah. Um, which again, I might like, but uh, right, right. have a sniff and a taste. Yeah. It's got a little bit of aroma for it. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> There's uh, definitely an aroma, sort of hops coming off there. Nothing too sort of strong, not like uh, you know some of the IPAs and so forth. But it's uh, good. It's pretty good actually. It lives up to the artwork on the can. Yeah, it's nice and bitter. It's sort of cutting right through my palate. Yeah. Um, nice balance in the mouth. It's not sort of uh, too fierce, I wouldn't say. Uh, yeah, fairly sort of easy drinking um, pilsner. Very easy. I could drink that, uh, yeah. even being a bit of an. It's animal. a shame we've only got one can. Well, I'm sure we can find something else to drink in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they're empty. <laughs> yeah, I can uh, certainly drink <clears throat> five or six of them easy. Yeah. Very nice. Anything else to say about this beer? A uh, pleasant <laughs> surprise. It's got a lot of flavour for a pills, so I would definitely, I would definitely select a few more cans when I'm back in Marks and Spencer's. Would you pay two pound fifty for it instead oh, of paying? It's a very, very good price. Two pound fifty for that quality pills. Because I mean, it's yeah. what must be three or four times the cost of Foster's. Most Foster's. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard it mentioned somewhere, but there you go. Anyway, cheers. We're liking this one, guys. <clears throat> We're gonna. Uh, Move on and uh, do a little bit more recording. We've got another beer from McKellar in a sec. Another offering from McKellar. This time it's an IPA, another funky can, and this is called Hair in the Mailbox. And again, this was £2.50 from Marks and Spencers, so it looks promising. You're getting more alcohol for your money, though, aren't you? That was a bit stronger. Yeah, good point. So this one is 6.3%. Yeah. So. Yeah, so. Um, I think we sort of talked in the first, our previous review about McKenna, Danish brewery, um, been going since 2006. Uh, I think the name actually comes from the two people that sort of founded it. So uh, one guy, his first name was uh, Mikael, and the other guy's surname was Keller. Mikella, guess Makes that's sense. Where, yeah, guess that's where that came from. And uh, they did a lot of sort of uh, cuckoo brewing, which is really sort of going around other breweries and using their equipment to brew beer. Uh, so lots of sort of collaborations, and I guess that's where you get all these sort of different styles that they do. Uh, so yeah, an interesting sort of uh, brewery. Um, yeah, we better give it a taste. Interesting. So I'll do the honours again. You snatched that. I was going to open this one. Oh yeah, I could see you moving real <coughs> quick, weren't you? Yeah, I was. See, that one's lighter than uh, one of the other beers that we have. That's supposed to sort of be lager, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a straw colour. That so one. yeah, take a look at that one. No, isn't it really quite a light sort of uh, colour in that one? Good carbonation. Uh, I think. 
looking it's hopeful. It's a little bit blunt to you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right, <coughs> let's give a sniff. Smell the hops, they're not sort of right in your face as some sort of um, IPAs are. Um, more hops than the uh, pills we tried yeah, from McKenna. A bit more. They does smell um, a bit fruity. <coughs> yeah. We better give it a taste. Mm. Yeah, it actually tastes like the beer I made myself in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's your yeah, donkey one. Yeah, <clears throat> it's quite light, but just, um, it's just a nice, simple, easy drinking sort of IPA. Yeah. Hops at the end of it that's just enough. They're not right in your face at a type of hops. Yeah, good balance. Uh, yeah. It must be good if it tastes <laughs> similar to the chalk donkey one. Yeah. Measures up well. <laughs> Ours was cheaper, I think. Yeah. No, it's so good. Yeah, you can't tell it's a six point three percent. You'd probably just think that might be a session mm -hmm. IPA. And um, so good. you know, if you like your hops but you don't like them overpowering the beer, this is good. It's sort of, uh, as I said, they're there in the background. You can taste them as sort of. There is some sort of fruit, I suppose. I would citrusy is probably how I describe it. Yeah, a little bit of fruit. Uh, you haven't got any of that sort of guava or no, nothing overpowering <coughs> in particular. Yeah. Sort of general sort of fruit fruit salad taste. Yeah. A um, bit of a citrus, citrus in the back end. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, I could drink a pint of that quite easily, I reckon. Might struggle with or the second two. and third, but yeah, two would probably be two okay. Two or three, maybe. Um, but yeah, good beer. Good work, McKenna. <coughs> uh, or both of you, as we'll uh, make Mick and Keller. Mikkel and Keller. Anyway, cheers. Awesome. Let's pour some more. more.